Hello folks and welcome to today's video. I'm in Ilo Ilo City checking out the newly built modern side of it called the Festive Walk Ilo Ilo by Mega World. And it's this huge development here in Ilo Ilo City that looks very modern, very clean and very beautiful. Just look at this boulevard here. It's thankfully a beautiful day out here in Ilo Ilo. Blue skies, the sun's out, the temperature's nice and hot. And I think a Starbucks coffee will do me just well. But uh, one does have to be very careful in these zebra crossings, getting from where I park my car along the side of the road here, which is at a flat rate of 35 pesos, to the mall. Yeah, they don't really stop. Yeah. All right, we're gonna step through the mall. You're in the vlog, Kuya. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, look, we've got a few schools open up here. Are these always here, ma'am? Ma or um, is it just a special the occasion? Oh, okay. To this coffee shop here in Noble City has really caught my eye. It looks like it's a pop up coffee shop on the back of a motorbike. Can you drive this? Yeah. This is drivable? Uh, Oh, yeah. Wow, this thing can go anywhere it wants, open up its awnings and boom, serve coffee on the side of the street or even here at the mall, at the outdoor atrium. Speaking of the outdoor atrium, I love this huge canvas that they got above it. It really provides a lot of shade from the midday sun. Oh man, I feel really bad not getting a coffee from one of those stalls and going into Starbucks. I mean, as much as I like to support local coffee businesses, etc. I mean, Starbucks have really upped their game when it comes to quality and taste, so. Thank you, sir, thank you. Woo, got my Starbucks coffee. I'm a happy chap. I haven't had an iced Americano for the past couple of days because I've been traveling around the provinces, but there is no Starbucks. Anyway, let's go inside the mall and check this place out. Oh, look, we've got a new subscriber. What's your name, ma'am? Iris. Iris, nice to meet you, Iris. Her and Iris and her boyfriend do motorcycle vlogs. Oh wait, that's on the corner of the street, right? Yeah, but this one is already sold out. Okay, that one's sold out. Yeah, last week, just last week. Just last week? Yeah. And then the one here? The one here, we have uh, one bedroom to two bedroom available. Are you ready? Yeah, I just have something to film. Iris knows this more better than I. She's gonna show me some viewpoints, vantage points of the entire township. Do you know how big this uh, township is? Or you don't know? I think 72 hectares. 72 hectares. Wow, look at this view. What a nice view from the terrace. And there's uh, plenty of parking there too, right? Yeah, the parking. Uh, how much is the parking? No, it's free. It's a free parking. Oh, it's free parking? Yeah, and then below is the transport park. Because I parked on the street and they, I have to pay on the street, right? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's cheap. It's like 30 pesos flat rate. So underneath the uh, steel car park is a bus terminal and a jeepney terminal. Yeah, look, it's this transport hub over there. Oh, the best view. Ah, yes, this is the walkway or the bridge that goes over the There's boulevard. Uh huh. So this one on the corner is the building that's currently sold out, right? It just sold out last week, like you yeah. said. The and then there's two more, or three more behind it. Two. Two more, yeah. okay. And are we going to view one of the condos inside one of those buildings? Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. The fully furnished one. And then this side is where the hotel is, like the Richmond and all the commercial buildings. Iris tells me there's a Korean town. Yeah. Really? All Korean restaurants and then the design was inspired by Korean restaurants. Oh, okay. Sounds interesting. So, is this still part of the mall? or? Yeah, the Bureau of Immigration. Oh, the Bureau of Immigration. I actually need to come here. And, um, is this where foreigners go to or no? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, we've got the marketplace down here. So this is kind of like more the office side with the supermarket on the ground floor. Look, there's like some ballet classes on the floor beneath. As I was saying on the vlog earlier when you weren't here, Iris, Mega World know how to do very, very good townships, right? Yeah. It's the township that uh, really allures a lot of people, attracts a lot of people. That transportation office, you want to renew your Oh, really? LTO? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Pass by the KL. Okay. Oh, K-Town's through the marketplace. Oh, okay. I see. I don't know why, but this marketplace sure does seem a lot better than the one in Uptown. 
Oh, this. Wow. Yeah, I've seen this actually. Um, only on like pictures and videos. So this is K Town here. Oh, this is so beautiful. Now this is another very beautiful boulevard to walk along, right? Good ambience. Oh, nice breeze coming in through here right now. There's a few uh, restaurants located along here, underneath here. And you can go to the second floor. There's like, um, there's more restaurants up there and bars, yeah? And also we have the Emperador. Emperador is a, we have a brandy museum in there. Ah, oh, that's the condo there that's sold out. Yeah. They've got balconies. Do the other condos have balconies or no? And how much were they selling for during pre-selling? Pre-selling, I think, for the studio, it is two million to three million. Two to three million before. Yeah. Right now, four million to seven. Right. And is there any other condos that are like during pre-selling stage or not yet? We have pre-selling. Oh, you do have pre-selling yeah. still. Okay. You got to get in at the pre-selling stage. This is Plaza de what? Casa. Casa de Emperador. Oh, Casa de Emperador. Here it is, yes. And this is the brand that does the brandy. Yeah. yeah? But uh, this monument, it says here, General Martin Teofilo Delegado, the great hero of Panay Island. Delegado's love for the Philippines and the Filipinos drove him to fight bravely for the liberation of the country during the revolution against Spain and the Philippine-American War. This work of art portrays a general sense of valor in the pursuit of freedom. I'm loving the weather, ma'am. It's nice and hot. Yesterday it was like really cloudy, it even rained a little in Iloilo, don't it? Today's officially my second day in Iloilo. Sorry for making your way outside. You must be like burning hot, right? <laughs> is this the Brandy Museum? Yeah, it is. Uh, what's that inside? The offices? Uh, another museum, contemporary art. Oh, okay. So. Okay, I thought all of it was the Brandy Museum, but it's just a section here. I see. Let's take a quick look inside, shall we? Oh, my bad. Hello, Paul. Must register? Oh, okay. We can do a quick tour inside, sir. Oh, okay, sure. Just a quick tour. Yeah, five minutes? We have a lot of time, but I don't know. Five minutes. You can do five minutes? Our tour, Paul, it will take like around 20 to 40 minutes of your time. Okay, just give me like a high level summary. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so this is the museum, sir. Oh. And here we have here the map, which located in Andalusia, southern part of Spain. We're Andalusia? Produced, yes, we're legally produce our brand. I think I've been here. Have mm -hmm. I been here? Seville. Yeah, yeah, I've been to Seville. Yeah. This uh, is in where southern else have I been? part of Spain. Yeah, yeah. We have here this triangular shape. This one is called the Shiani Triangle or the Magic Triangle. We're legally produce our brand. What? This triangle here? Yes. Sherry, which means fortified wine, bagel, white grapes, crayon, Spain. And the Sherry Triangle is composed by the three municipal boundaries. So we have here the Heret, the La Frontera, the San Lucar de Barameda, and then the El Puerto de Santa Maria. And again, we're mass legally produce our brand. This is the Dumet family. They own before the Fundador. Wow, it's a very beautiful museum. So every other class here, sir, we're explaining it to our guests. And is this how the wine is distilled? Yes, we use or created? This, this is a pastel, but this is the replica. This is the original pastel. Oh, okay. And where is this? In Spain? Yes, in Spain. It's made of copper. We're using copper. this to distill our Spanish brandy. Once the grapes are fermented, then they're added to the distillery here, yeah? Yes. They're boiled, evaporated, yes. then they're made to condense, condense. Uh, which converts this the vapor. Where, this is the condenser. Yeah, which converts the vapor into liquid, yes, exactly. and then the liquid is poured into here, and then it comes out of this little exactly. nozzle. And uh, after that, we're aging our brandy on the Solera system. Okay. So Solera system, this is a traditional way to age our Spanish brandy. High, high level, if you were to summarize Younger one, brandy places above. Younger brandy, six months? Yeah, not, not, one uh, year. not six months. Not even six months? Younger than six months. Okay. And if it's uh, six months, you can consider it as Solera. Okay. That's, supposed, so that's to supposed to be a real yes. fire though, yeah? Uh -huh. So the more you try that barrel, the more it gives you a distinctive flavor for our brandy being uh -huh. cookies, cookies, my tea, oaks, vanilla, that. Wow. And that barrel. Time, sir. We can do the brandy taste by time. This is the highlight, actually. This is the highlight. I don't, I don't drink, man. 
Well, what are these coat of arms here? Those are the coat of arms under Emperador. Oh, I see. And the three coat of arms under uh, Fundador. Those coat of arms serve as a company's trade mark. Before wow. the Dumet family coat as the crown equity, which means they are the supplier of the royal family when it comes to the liquor or to the brandy. I see. And those coat of arms are engraved to uh, these bottles. I see. Well, thank you so much again, Irish. We're now going to go see one of the condos that's fully furnished. Which building is it, ma'am? Lafayette. Lafayette, okay. Let's go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Irish. Thank you, sir. Oh, that was quite good. We got a very high-level summary very quickly with all the facts. Boom, boom, boom. How long do you think that lapsed for, Irish? Irish, sorry. Sorry, sir? It's so funny how you two have almost like the similar name. I don't know. I don't know. Right? I just knew it. I know. Right Coincidence. The Palladium? Yeah, the Palladium. It's the highest building, residential building. in Western Versailles. How many floors is it? 22 floors. Oh, 22 floors, okay. I mean, in Uptown, we've got like condos that go to like, well, actually, in Uptown, we've got the tallest building in all the Philippines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's not owned by Mega World, it's the Grand Hyatt Federal Land. And that's 62, 62 floors, I think. Yeah. It's bloody high. high. Yeah. Like, uh, I live in a Mega World building. Uptown Park Suites. The buildings there are like 42 floors, maybe higher. But when you go to like the 60th floor, holy crap. Like the 42nd floor is down here, man. It's really high. Have you been to BGC? No. Not. No? Oh, you need to come. I just passed by BGC. I'm riding BGC, but I never. Oh, really? That's my place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very nice. Rafael. Aha. Rafael. Oh, I like this lobby. Very nice. The seating area is behind the front desk there. What a concierge. I'm slapping your back. No way. <laughs> Hello, how do you do? Okay, so this is the unit. And the first, the first thing I caught my eye was, uh, first of all, the beautiful furniture that they have in here, which apparently is all included. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Everything? Like, uh, apart from this stuff, right? No, everything inside. Everything, everything, yeah, everything. everything you can see. Because usually, like, they'll be like, okay, maybe the chairs are included, but you won't get the carpet, you won't get the cutlery, you won't get this, or the lamp. Everything. Everything. Yeah, correct. TV, uh, the, uh, TV this little texture here you got, the refrigerator, the microwave. Oh, you won't get this bottle, because that's mine. Wow, really? Yeah. And how much is this going for? 12 million and it's at 56 52.5 square meters yeah. which is almost the size of the uh, corner units in uptown park suites which is at like 65 square meters but they're going for like 18 million right now mm -hmm. and this is going for 12. 12 million at this current moment in time and this is fully furnished the one in uptown isn't even a painting yeah. wow this is really nice first on the market. Yeah, rent to own fully furnished condo unit. Right. This is really, really nice. Some people don't like box type ACs, but box type ACs are super efficient. Your electricity bill was like two to three K pesos a month. You go with a split type, even an inverter unit, you're still paying about seven K pesos a month, eight K. And look at this, it's got a balcony too that you can step out onto. Wow. And you've got an entire view of this boulevard here, right? Eh? And uh, yeah, oh, this is the entire Mega World Boulevard, is it? And it goes all the way down to the festive walk where we were earlier. It's just about what, I'd be a hundred meters away? Usually in BGC, even if you have a balcony, you've got like loads of views of buildings, but here it's like green fields. It's the bright day, but I think over there in the distance, are those mountains over there? Yeah, mountains yeah. of Antique. Uh, this is why I wear shades. People are like, why are you always wearing shades? Because you see so much more detail. Look at that. Oh. Everything has become now visible. Man, this is really nice. It is. I really like this. And I still can't believe the fact that it's uh, fully, fully furnished. As in like everything which you see, even the lights, the TV here. This is a, what, 50 inch TV? Yeah. Mounted on the wall here, and then another TV mounted on the wall there. You've got a desk with 
a little leather chair here, your working area, your wardrobe integrated on this side. And we got the ensuite through here, your toilet sink, shower. The picture frames are included. Even the bedding, queen size, yeah? Yeah. Oh, and look, they've got this uh, leather headboard on the back here. Is this mounted or is this just yeah. pushed against? It's mounted. It's mounted. Then we've got a front room area, which is an open layout. And the dining table is on the right there too. I love this big picture frame. They've got a lot of these picture frames um, in the lobbies. Through here is the kitchen. Yes, big kitchen actually. It's uh, long and narrow. Your fridge is here. Where's the washing machine? Yeah. In the maid's room? Uh -huh. Yeah, in the maid's room. There we are. Does it come with this washing machine? Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> okay. The bed is also included? Yeah. For the maids? Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you don't require maids, this could be like a spare yes, bedroom, yeah. spare guest bedroom. Yeah. And they even got their toilet, shower there. Let's turn the lights on. If somebody needs to crash over your place, perfect. All for 12 million. Yeah, 12.6. 12.6. Like I think that's it. What about the facilities? We haven't seen the facilities. Yeah, sure. Let's on go. The third floor. Okay, so this is the gym here, on the third floor. Oh, there's an outdoor area here. Oh, this is where the pool is located. I see. Oh, you know what? I, I think on the knees is actually available on Airbnb. Pardon the wind noise, people. It's extremely windy out here. But this is the main pool, and then there's like a kiddies pool right next to it. We have a few sun beds on the side there. It's a nice looking pool. I think, how, how deep is it? One, four feet? Four feet. Four feet, that converts to. Oh, I've got fans. Hello, how do you do? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> you, you watch me? Yeah, I watch you both of the time. No way. How, how do you do, sir? What's your name? Robert, Megan, obviously. <laughs> you live here? Uh, just for the month. Oh, for the month. Are you doing Airbnb or? Uh, yeah, Airbnb. Are you liking it? It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. I saw I saw an available unit. I think it's one of those ones. Okay. Because uh, I recognize the view. Right. Yeah, but I, I don't pick it, man. I should have. I, I, nice. I was new I, here, I, yeah. I like the... It's yeah. really nice, right? Yeah. Mm. It's great. See you, man. Take care. All the best. Oh, I don't know. You want to take a picture? Yeah, sure, sure. How do you do? Yeah, I'm good. I'm you're good? good? <laughs> yeah. Second fan. Actually, you're the first person who spotted me. Thank you, sir. All right. This was the one bedroom unit, fully furnished. The only one available in the Lafayette Park Square. Yeah, if you're interested in buying any condos, contact the email in the description. Oh, the sun is gone, man. Look. Yeah. It's no more blue skies anymore. Folks, I think I'm going to wrap up today's video here. Big thank you to Iris for showing us around the condos here and for just giving us a little tour and coming with us along the wine distillery. But if you enjoyed the modern side of Ilo Ilo, especially the festive walk from Mega World, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video and share it with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on our channel. Many thanks for watching, guys. Take care and bye from me and Iris. See ya.